I just created 20 AI prompts in under 10 minutes without writing a single one myself. And the secret, I actually got AI to write them for me. Let me show you how. Now, when it comes to creating prompts using ChatGPT, Claude, or any large language model, we're gonna come across three major problems. And we need to understand this before we even start creating prompts ourselves. Number one is just staring at a blank page or just a blank prompt box. This can be time wasting, which can lead into time consuming tweaking. If you're spending way too much time tweaking prompts that just don't feel right, is probably because you don't have a good starting point. And this is also gonna lead us into inconsistent results. We really need to have a structure when it comes to creating AI prompts. So first of all, my name is Eddie. Why I'm able to talk about this? Well, I've been using AI prompts. I've been using tools like ChatGPT. I've been using them for a very long time. So I feel like I'm able to share some of the information that I've been able to gather for myself. I've been blogging, doing YouTube and also coaching others in other communities. And this system works across any AI platform. So here's exactly what you're going to learn. We're going to go through a step by step system. And this exact process is going to help you generate perfect prompts every time. And I'm also going to show you a secondary tool called meta prompting, which we can also use to help us create prompts. And I'm also going to give you some ready to use templates in this slide deck. All right, so solution number one for us to help create really amazing prompts is going to be using Anthropic's console and their built in solution. So you're going to go to console.anthropic.com and you're either going to sign in or sign up. And then once you've done that, you're going to be added into a dashboard that looks just like this. And it's going to let you be able to write a prompt from scratch, generate a prompt, improve an existing prompt. And then also if you're like a developer or you're building any tools, you can also get the API keys. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do is jump into settings and you're going to go into billing. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to buy at least I would say $5 worth of credits because this is what we're going to need in order to pay and create our prompts. So once you've done that, we're going to jump back here and we're going to go ahead and generate a prompt. Once we're in this box, it's going to tell us you can generate a prompt template by sharing basic details about your task. And it even gives us some examples. We could summarize documents. We can write emails. We can also translate code. Now from here, I'm going to do something very simple. When you're doing this, you want to think of all of the tasks and objectives that you do for your day to day work or for your business and how you can either automate that or how you can create a prompt and create a workflow that will just make things easier for you. So I'm going to come up with something really, really simple. All right. So this is the prompt that I'm going to go ahead and generate with Claude. And I'm going to say create a prompt that summarizes my YouTube videos and then comes up with completely new video ideas with a unique angle on that topic. So from here, we're going to go ahead and click on generate. Again, if you're using the thinking model, you can also click on that as well. So let's go and click on generate here. Awesome. So this is actually creating an amazing prompt without having us to do anything. And from here it says, here's your prompt. You'll be able to make further changes and improvements later to this. Now we have this prompt that's saying you are tasked with analyzing YouTube channels, content and generating new video ideas based on a specific topic that has performed really well. The goal here is to create fresh content that builds upon the success of the original topic while exploring different angles and appeals to the viewer's interest. So one thing that we need to understand when we're creating this prompt is that Anthropic uses variables. This is really important to understand. Variables are just placeholders that make your prompt flexible and reusable for any use case. So you can use this with any other tool. Let's say you're using like an AI agent tool like Convergence AI, or if you're just using ChatGPT's deep thinking model or Grok. Uh, you can just basically plug and play this anywhere you want. From here, we can click on continue. And without overwhelming you, you can have the prompt section here. You can also evaluate the prompt and do some testing. I'm going to keep it super basic and I'm only going to just copy this prompt for now. So from here, just to test this for you, I'm going to have Claude, ChatGPT and Grok open all at the same time with their thinking models available. We're going to go ahead and copy the entire prompt in here. And then from here, you're going to want to make sure that you replace the YouTube channel summary with the actual transcript and the topic. Let's go into my YouTube channel. And then inside of my channel, I'm gonna just click on popular to see which videos are performing the best. And we're gonna do this one here, the faster way to create online courses with AI. I'm gonna click on share link here. And then I'm gonna to go to a YouTube transcript generator. I talk a lot about this one, but this one's called tactic.io. And we're just gonna grab that video transcript. And I'm gonna plug that into the variable section. And I'm going to do the same with all of the other large language models. OK, and then I'm also going to place the topic. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click on enter for all of them and see the output that we get for each LLM. 
All right, so we went ahead and grabbed the ideas. Some of them are honestly amazing. And for example, we're gonna jump into Claude first. And I really, really like what we did here with Claude. So you can see that it actually did the thinking. You can click on this little expand bar here and it's analyzing my transcript to understand my channel's theme. And then it created the 25 unique video ideas that are exploring different angles of the topic, how to create online courses with AI based on my channel, based on my transcript, Again, we're going based off of curiosity, pain points, authority, SEO, or outlier title ideas. So honestly, some of these ideas are amazing and I could definitely use them for my channel. So here's another example that we got with Grok. Um, very, very good as well. Some of the titles you can see here are a little bit different, which is perfect because this is just giving us more ideas. And then moving on to ChatGPT, I'm on the free version as of making of this video. Uh, but as you can see, this is actually pretty good titles as well. Some of them, you know, I would change maybe some of the power words. For example, we have one for an SEO title here, which is top 10 AI tools every course creator must know. And you can see that we have a lot of good ideas. So that is just one way of creating a prompt using Anthropic Console. And we could even improve that prompt, right? So if you click on improve prompt and you didn't like the output that we got, you can add in more detailed feedback and then Claude can refine that prompt for us. So for this example, I'm just gonna say that I did not like some of the ideas that we got back and I wanna make sure that we primarily focus on curiosity and SEO. Make sure the output comes back to 40 to 50 ideas as well. And then make sure each idea is less than 60 characters. So I'm gonna go ahead and improve that prompt. And you can see here that it's actually planning what it's going to do. And now it's going ahead and rewriting that initial prompt draft for us it's adding those thinking models in there too and now we're getting a final draft perfect so now we can click on open in workbench and i can go ahead and copy this again and for now i'm just going to stick to claude and i'm going to go ahead and insert the new prompt draft that we have and then we're going to use the same idea as in the topic and the transcript okay and i'm way happier with the results so we got a table of 45 video ideas that explore different angles on my video topic and transcript. So we have here, number one, five AI tools that create course outlines in minutes. That's an angle for SEO driven. We have another one for uh, create a 997 mini course this weekend with AI. How I made 10K with the 60 minute AI generated course. Seven course marketing emails that AI writes better than you. As you can see with Anthropic Console, we were able to generate a rough prompt and then we're able to refine it by improving that prompt directly in Anthropic Console. So definitely try this out and we're going to go ahead and jump into meta prompting using the actual AI tool itself. Now here is the universal meta prompting template for anyone who wants to build prompts within a large language model such as ChatGPT or Claude. We're going to go ahead and copy this and again this is going to be available to you in the description below and this is going to allow you to create meta prompts directly from the AI model. So we're going to go inside of Claude I'm going to go ahead and insert this prompt. Now from here, we're going to add a context to make sure that it always has that when we're doing our prompt output. So the context is for this example, we're writing outreach emails to affiliate managers that I am an affiliate and want to reach out to my affiliate managers to increase commissions. So I want to make this into a universal prompt that I could also sell to other affiliates. Awesome. So I went ahead and created a meta prompt for us inside of Claude. So here's the example. Are it inputted the input parameters, which was again the uh, program name, which is Health Boost Supplements, and this is completely just made up. Uh, cur current commission rate is 12%. The target is 18%. Uh, Ups metrics, um, let's say I'm making $8,500 monthly sales for them at a 4.2 conversion rate. And then we get the output for that specific email. So it's going to give us three different subject lines. And then it's also going to give us the main body. I like it because it's also providing like amazing line breaks. It doesn't look or sound robotic. And we can use this as a universal template so I can reach out to all of my affiliate managers to see if I can get a commission boost for the programs that I'm promoting. Now that is like one powerful way of doing meta prompting. I highly recommend it. And when it comes to meta prompting, you need to make sure that you are being very specific when it comes to the prompt itself. So you need to add in exactly what you want the output to be. And then from there, you need to 
structure everything very clearly. So add in specific numbers, add in sections, add in the formatting, and that's exactly what it's going to help you with the meta prompt. And as you're doing this, you need to make sure that you're saving your prompts somewhere. And that is where you're going to want to build a prompt library. When it comes to building a prompt library, you can use tools like Notion, Trello, Google Sheets, really anywhere where you can save all of these prompts and use them whenever you want. I would recommend that you categorize them by the purpose so you can have different sorts of tags such as content creation prompts, researching, problem solving, or technical ones. And then you document each prompt. So add in all of the inputs, add in some sample outputs to remember how that looked when you use the prompt. And then you can continue to reuse and refine. So if you're using Anthropic's console, then you can go back in there and refine your prompts as you make edits. One of the important things is doing that. And I really hope that this training helped you. If you want to learn more about AI prompts, you can watch this playlist next. And I'll see you in that video. Thank you.